All right. Woke up kind of midday. Still raining. I wonder what our rain barrels are at now. Curious. Does this still say infinite? Unlimited. Or unlimited, yeah. Interesting. I keep <laughs> really wanting to slide down the pole there. All right, let's take a look around. My, oh, we got a, we got a little crowd down here. I wonder if the thunder's causing them to shift around. It wouldn't surprise me. And what's this? What's going on with this barrel? Oh, it's filling up. It just you're not really seeing the water in there for some reason. Yeah, it's past half full. What about this one? Yeah, that one's almost completely full. And our crops are getting watered. Everything looks good down there. Now right, let's let's go on outside and handle this this group. How's my uh, how's my weapon doing here? Oh, it's on. It's, maybe we should repair that first. Give it a little bit of extra life before we have to retire it forever. Can I do this? Repair it? I'm not standing close enough to some duct tape, it seems like. Maybe I don't have enough. I thought it would get it if... Maybe I don't have enough duct tape or adhesive tape. I thought I had enough duct tape. Have I not collected enough of that? I got like 10 of them here. It won't let me use it from here. I wonder if it'll let me use it now. No, I have to have it in my inventory. Okay. I thought having it in the locker next to me would cause me to automatically use it. So, let's go ahead and repair it. Potential for repairs, 50%. Chance of success, 95. We'll take it. Let's see where we're at now. Hey, that was pretty good. We'll do, uh, we'll do one more repair. And it's diminishing returns. Potential for repair 25, chance of success 93. Yeah, see, not as much. So we'll stick with that. And then I got the splitting axe up here. Doesn't need repaired yet. I'm going to go ahead and put this back there. All right. And do I have uh, matches or something to smoke with? Yes, I do. How are we doing on matches? Oh, we're running a little low on the matches. So let's go and grab another book of matches. After he gets his morning cigarette in here. Or midday cigarette. Hungry? Okay. Alright. Well, let's go, uh... Let's go clear these zombies out down here. I'm killing in the rain. Just killing in the rain. Oh, yeah. This will be a fun little group. I'm gonna try to kill most of them over here if I can. On the pile, because I'm tired. I'm so tired after like two or three days of in game days of piling zombie bodies. I'm so tired of doing it. I don't want to do it anymore. Let's go and get it. Oh, pull that weapon out. I didn't see it. It looked like he was barehanded there for a second. Oh, look at her. She just disappeared into the pile. Well, I can't believe that we haven't become desensitized yet after 750 plus zombie kills, but here we are. Still getting a little bit panicked at dealing with the zombies. That's all right. I think I might just walk it down there and uh, kill zombies along the way. That seems like a good way to enjoy a, a rainy day like this. I don't want to be antisocial, you know? Can you imagine driving past this? Like, you're in the zombie apocalypse and you just drive past mass grave like that. And you're like, wow. Hey, let's, uh, let's just call out. Let's call out. Hey! Everybody, this way. Look, free meal. Come get it. I thought she was like had a flashlight on or something. It looked like there's a flashlight beam coming off of her, but it's just a puddle. The way the puddle's shaped. So, all right. So goal: clear these guys out, set up the gas station generator, get that ready to go. Get off me! And then. Go find a TV, if possible. I'm going to find one on the way there. 
I don't know if these businesses have any TVs or not, but we can always check. These bodies should probably be disappearing pretty quickly. How many zombies we got here? Eh, okay, not too bad. And if, you know, so the way it works is there's like these cells. Each each part of the map is divided into a cell and there's a certain amount of zombies in there. And if, if you don't have respawns on, they won't... That's one less zombie in the world you have to worry about. As you clear out a cell, the remaining zombies kind of fill in the gaps. And Cromiel Archer said it really well. He said it's kind of like a gas expanding into a vacuum. Um, it's sort of what they do over time. But once you completely eliminate the zombies from that cell, that's that's it. There's not going to be more. Now, if you go to, to a different area of the map, yeah, you'll run into more. You'll run into more zombies. Uh, same numbers as when they started. And you have to clear that out. But you kind of can claim area that way. You sort of can assert your dominance over an area, clear it out, make it somewhat safe, and then not have to worry about it until you need to move somewhere else. So that's kind of what I'm going for here. I don't know exactly where the lines beginning and end for cells. So I have no clue at all. But I figure if we just kill all the zombies that we need to in our neighborhood here, over time we'll eventually get all of them. And that'll be that. This guy's decided, hey, he was a smart one. He's just sitting there chilling, enjoying the rain. Sitting there, her, she. Yeah. And that was that. There's our Jenny. Let's see if we can call anybody out. Before we go walking underneath, underneath this overhang with occlusion everywhere. Oh, I hear somebody. I hear somebody. Where are you coming at? Oh, we got a couple. Over this way. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and fill this up. Start it up. Check the area here real quick again. I'm just worried about zombies in the tree line. It's the only thing I'm really too... I'm kind of halfway concerned about. I'll check this house for a newer TV. This looks like a nice neighborhood. They might have some newer stuff. Like, you know, cutting edge VHS technology. Alright. I don't think I'm getting any answers, so I'm going to go ahead and... Um, see what the generator info is. Oh, we got fuel in it. Okay. So, yeah, we can just turn it on. I couldn't remember if we had that or not, but uh, apparently so. Let's see here. Did I not bring the... Uh, huh. Came all this way and I forgot the... Uh, gas cans? Really? That's all right. At least we cleared it out. Let's go check for a TV then. We know it's safe to go back, so let's dismantle these watches. There we go. Get rid of this amplifier and scrap electronics. So much of that. We'll never use it all. Yeah, let's go look for a TV over here. Tad weepy, hungry, moist, anxious. Been a while since I've cleared an actual house. I think this is one of the more current generation TVs, so. Yeah, we should be good. I hear a zombie. What do you got? Outside? Maybe outside. I don't really want to pick up the TV until I know. Of course, it won't weigh us down that much, I don't think. Ten. Yeah. Let's go find out where this zombie's at. It's making me a little nervous. Eh, we got a few of them. Probably wouldn't have mattered, but again, 
three less zombies we ever have to worry about again. Now, just because I killed those three doesn't mean it... Well, we got... We got several coming this way. Why are they drifting this way? That's interesting. Let's grab the TV and go. That's a little weird. Okay, let's fight him. Let's just fight him. Let's take him outside. I wonder why they're drifting this way. It looked like... It didn't look like they saw me or heard me or anything. It looked like it was because of an event of some kind that I was not aware of. So I have to wonder if there's more coming behind them. It's like twins. I just murdered twins. Alright, well, we'll wait for them to... Here, I'll just go up and bust him out. Okay. Let's, let's not go right around that corner blind. Okay. In case there's like four of them walking up this side from the woods down here. Hey, here's another one. Yeah, it seems like something drew them into this area. I have to wonder if it's maybe them trying to redistribute. To the area? I don't know. I don't know. But that's okay. Handled. No big deal. And we're not going to be that much overweight when we uh, pick this up, so I'm not too concerned about it. There we go. Now we got a TV we can watch our shows on. Can I stow? I could probably stow that in my uh, bag, actually. Yeah, we'll just shove that TV into my hiking bag. And now we're underweight. <laughs> that works. What I should do is I should start grinding uh, mechanics. I'll do that off camera. Removing batteries. Removing headlights, putting them back in, reinstalling everything, just to grind up my mechanical skill a little bit. So I've replaced our old TV with this one. It has cutting edge VHS technology and uh, should be good. I, I need to find a little stand to put it on because it looks a little weird just sitting on the floor. I've disassembled the antique television. No longer have that, but we do have this one. Yeah, we can now play VHS tapes in here. Very fancy, very fancy. It's a rainy night. I'm just waiting for my uh, my dinner to dethaw. Oh, it it thawed. Wonderful. Not dethaw. Thaw. Now let's go ahead and eat our grapefruit and our cheese. And that should help us out here. Otherwise, a little weepy, a little anxious. What else is new? What else is new? Man, rain's finally stopped. Oh, I got some big plans for us today. I go. Uh, Want to go do a little target practice, if uh, everything allows us to do that. Oh yeah, shotgun. We definitely need a shotgun. This could be a horrible idea, or it could be an amazing idea. I'm not sure exactly which, but. I don't know if I want to take this shotgun since we don't have any skill yet. Because it'll jam up. We'll short stroke it quite a bit. Or the double barrel. I think I'm going to take the double barrel. Just for learning purposes. I think it's going to be a safer option. Guaranteed shots and all that. Even though we have to reload it more often, I think we're going to reload just as much with the uh, low skill level that we have. So we got 42 shotgun shells, 10 boxes. Yeah, we got lots. It's going to open up a box. All right, let me hop in here, take a look at my map, see where I need to go. Basically, I just need to follow my, my path on back here. So this is where we were at, trying to get the Jeep. So we just keep going, then head straight to the mall. We were really close there. So I'll, let me get rid of this marking over here. Don't need that anymore. So now our, our new target is going to be, we're going to put this over here. So where all the zombies are going to end up dead. Like so. That seems about right. All right, let's go. Oh, almost hit a light pole. First turn. You know what? It's a little slippery, slippery out here on the on the roads when they're wet. The steering's a little bit different. 
It's not bad. It's just it is what it is. Alright, we're back at the mall. Oh, it all started here. Remember the good times that we had here? Remember looting that police car and so on and so forth. Oh yes. Alright, well I'm gonna park over here. Get ready for a quick getaway. Let's go ahead and turn this off. And hop out! Sean! What have what are you wearing? All right, well, if you must, if you must, let's go ahead and uh, ball these guys up a little bit here. I guess that's one way to avoid getting overheated. What is that? Pink with white polka dots? Oh well, you're the guy with the shotgun. I'm not going to argue with you. So we should be able to draw some zombies in once we start. Uh, let's call some out here. Could have probably honked the horn before I got out. Yeah, here we go. We're starting to get some in the area. All right, let's do this. Good old double barrel shotgun. Oh, this should be fun. This is going to be some fun. I'm waiting for that to turn green for us. You know what? Let's take beta blockers. I bet you that's why he's freaking out and not getting the green target acquisition. There, so. I think that's there in my backpack, actually. There we go. Now we should be able to get good green outline here. This is my boomstick. Good times. Good times. There we go. Eamon's already up. I guess we did do a little bit of shotgun work earlier, but uh, yeah, should keep should keep getting higher here. Till we're ready to leave. Drawing lots of zombies in from everywhere. Shotgun is one of the louder sounds in the game. I think all these zombies just want Sean Sexy Mod. I think that's what it is. sure how I missed that one. They were all lit up green. Looks like he's pulling him out of his panties.
Ah, oh, this is just too much fun. I'm gonna try to ball him up a little bit here. Freaking out again. Need to get some more uh, beta blockers in him. I'm gonna have to overdose on beta blockers, it seems like. I think I'm out of them. Can't believe that. Not sure where we're at with our ammo, so better go ahead and reload. I still had one shot left. Oh, shotgun's leveled up, huh? What is it now? Let's take a quick colossal double barrel shotgun. And its condition is doing just fine. We're going to run out of ammo before we destroy the shotgun. I don't think the reload took that time. My bad. And all this excitement, I kind of lost track. Alright, see you guys in probably another 10 minutes. Alright, uh, aiming level 3 now. I wish there was a book that I could have read for, like, firearms to expedite my learning here. I think we're running out of zombies, honestly. Got quite a few of them on the ground. If it goes green, I'm in good shape. Yeah, like that. Oh, yes. It's becoming powerful. Am I down to one? Just a few. Oh, we're going to have to find zombies from somewhere else. Go hunting. I'll probably, I, I'll probably call it a day here just because we're starting to get exerted and all these moodles are popping up. But uh, I missed on the last one. Wow. A bit surprised. And I think that's it. Well, that was interesting. I love the uh the blood the bloody accents with the uh the pink and white polka dot underwear that Sean is uh styling for us. All right, so let's see here. Is there any cars that I really want that are here? Uh, the Range Rover wouldn't be too bad, but uh, yeah, I think it's time to uh, probably get out of here. I bet. I wonder if I can pull this thing with the muscle car. I don't really need to. I don't 
really see anything else that really pops out at me. That's amazing, you know. So let's see what our uh, stats are now that we took care of all that. Aiming. Yeah. Reloading. Not too bad. We're starting to learn. All right. Well, it is evening time. Let's uh, let's take a little cruise around, and then we'll head home. I will go ahead and put put his regular clothes back on. Thought you guys might think that was somewhat surprising and kind of funny. Yeah, we'll wear all our normal stuff here, and I will actually unequip this. So we all know that. He's not wearing it underneath. We might suspect it, but he's not. That looks better. All right, let's go inside the uh, the food here or the 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 mall here. Grab some food because we are very hungry. All that zombie killing has made us very very hungry. I'm pretty sure we pulled all the zombies away from here, so I can break. I should be able to break through that door to get back to the back of the uh, survival shop. Those back here. So I'm going to go check on that. I guess if we had to, we could always sleep here tonight. We've done it before with a lot less weaponry and a lot less skills. Is this more uh, food stuff? Oh, yeah, we'll take all these seed packets. Of course. Yeah, we'll take all those. My, I'm out of room there. Okay. I could grab a bag and carry one in my offhand, but I, I honestly don't care to do that. I like to have both hands free as much as I can. I always feel extra vulnerable if I do it that way. Oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. Hello. Hello, my new friend. Yes, you will be coming with me. My life has just gotten really nice. Machete in this store. Hmm, okay. And was that a jar I saw? Box of jars. Yeah, we're taking those as well. Might have to run out to the car and dump some of this stuff off. Yeah, I think we'll do that. This was uh, sort of a good stop, actually. All these seeds. Box of jars. So we can start doing a little canning. What do they call it? Jarring. Rancher machete. Thank you, since I'm, mine's about to die. All right, well, now you know where to find machetes. If you're looking for off-the-shelf machetes, go to your garden supply store. It's probably going to be better than the actual survival shop. I think I have the garden spray can. If not, we know exactly where to go. A uh, garden fork, that's a good weapon too. I already have one of those, but it'd be great to have another one. Alright, and I think there's a whole other shelf here. But uh, honestly, I need to get out there the car. Hand axe, take that. This is almost an embarrassment of riches at this point. Well, this little shotgun goof off mission turned out to be pretty awesome. So yeah, we'll take it. Well, when this one uh, when this one dies, when this rancher machete dies, we're gonna be ready. Can't remember where I parked. If I parked right out in front of this one or further down, I think I parked like down here a little bit. Yeah, getting exerted because how much weight I'm carrying around, but that's okay. We're about to offload everything. Plus, I'm pretty sure the area is clear of zombies for the most part. I think probably this whole cell is. I probably should have done it right at the fire station. Just started 
try to pull in as many as I could there. But uh, yeah, that's that's a that's a big mess right there. Some so we'll have to clean that up eventually. It ain't gonna be me this, me this time. I'll tell you that much. Not gonna be me. Empty gas can. Yeah, I forgot about that. Um, yeah, let's just throw everything in there. Uh, water can. Oh no, that needs to stay with me. Okay, I need to actually be a little more careful because this is my primary inventory. Can't just hit transfer all. As much as I'd like to. A lot of these are repeats. They're all uh, seed packets. Oh, that's so bad. Put these in there. <laughs> Put those in there as well. The jars, let's get rid of those. They're probably pretty heavy. Yeah, 1.8, but uh, I think they're going to be helpful later on. Assuming I can... I'm not sure if I can in regular... I mean, if they put the jars in there, you should be able to use them, right? You'd think. Alright, and we'll put this gas can over... You know what? Yeah, let's put the gas can in the car here. For now. I don't want to speed up time. I'm afraid a horde's going to come up on me. Like some late breaking horde's going to arrive and trap me up against my car. And I don't think we need to be carrying a shotgun right now either. As fun as that is. Pretty much going to go melee from, from this point forward for the rest of the episode. How much are these stacked? Yeah, almost three. Yeah. No, all of them. Put all of them in there. Oh, I'm out of room. Okay, well, passenger seat. There's always a passenger seat. Uh, front right? Yeah, that's where we... Wait a minute, yeah. Front right. Let's uh, put some shells over there. Now we can actually shoot as we go down the road because we have shells in the seat next to us outside of the box. So we can actually do drive-bys. You can roll your window down too. I think it's... uh. Yeah, open a window. Yeah, see? Check that out. You can do drive-bys. It's kind of cool. Alright, I think we're back down to a good good weight. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this ain't so bad. And uh, a little exerted. Um, We might just sit here for a minute in the car. And relax. So I'm going to try breaking down this door if I can. Should be able to do it with the axe. If worse comes to worst. If I can't use the machete. Yeah, we can use this. Let's use the axe, though. It'll probably be a lot faster. Where is my axe? Did I stow it by accident? I didn't mean to stow my axe. I think I did. I think I stowed my axe. Alright, well, let's just use this one. There's probably an axe over here, actually. I could use Peg, tank kit. Yeah, I remember all this stuff. That brings back memories. And axe, there we go. That is, uh... Attach that on our belt. Let's use that. Let's save our machete for zombies. Alright, there we go. I should have done that when we were first here. I've I forgot that you didn't need a sledgehammer for every door. So honestly, that was on me. And there's nothing going to be in here. Some lighters and some matches, really. That's it. It's got to be something better than that. Maybe the next door. Uh, more tent kits and hand axes. You know, I could probably go for a tent kit. Let's go and grab one of those. I might be wanting to set up a... I'm, I've been debating whether I should set up a uh, fishing cabin. Sort of out in the middle of nowhere to go get protein and trap and that sort of stuff over the winter. If I do that, that tent might come in handy. If I can just get some walls up and I don't have time to... Uh, I don't actually have time to uh, build a door and really secure it for the night. Like, during the construction phase, you know? I don't think I need more 45 ammo. I'll always take more ammunition like that, though. Or, I should say, mag. 
Uh, you know what? Let's take the mag. It's always good to have mags that you can just grab and go. Double barrel shotgun again. More shotgun shells. Wait, that six twenty that's a different revolver. Forty five round. That's a forty five revolver. I'm interested in that. I don't think I have that one. Two two three and shotgun rounds. Take those. Take all those. Couple mags, sure. Like actual reading magazines. Uh, survival knife. Hand hatchet. Okay. It's starting to get dark in here. There's that pistol again. It's 625. No, I'm putting it in the wrong spot. That's okay. We'll, we'll fix that. Am I am I full here? Yeah, I am full. All right, we need to get going. Let's get on out of here. Let's head home. Got lots more good loot. All right, I'd say definitely a successful mission. I think we're getting close to home here. Should be it here, right? Yeah, there's the accident. There's our truck. Nice. Mission success. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and turn the car off. No point in wasting all the gas. Like, you know, hold on, stand by. What kind of? Yeah, no, I don't really want to fight anybody. Tired and overweight. I was going to do a little patrol, but it's better to get rid of some of the stuff first, at least. All right, I'll do. Uh, I'll do. I'll get this all organized off camera, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all take care. Hold on. Stand by. Wait. Oh, dang it. You missed it. Hold on. All right. Bye-bye. See you in the next one.